Nothing. Yeah, it's been 24 hours, and I still haven't a clue why he's doing this or what he wants from me. <laughs> Be patient, like I have a choice. Listen, the other thing that we talked about, yes, the son-in-law. I don't want this to slow anything down. I need him out. Good, thanks. You're early. So are you. Thought I'd make a start chasing contacts from my trip. A couple that really encourage him. See? Not all bad. You know, I know it's easy to say, but try not to get yourself in a state. The guy's got nothing. You have a young man's faith in justice. Chrissy said you had a really bad time prison. She told me all about it. She couldn't possibly have. Well, I think she wanted me to know how strong you are. She couldn't because she doesn't know all about it, not everything. There are some things you don't want your children to hear. I don't blame you if you're scared. <laughs> what kind of idiot wouldn't be scared? No, what I meant was that, I mean, if you can handle that, then... Some stupid, greedy kid on the make. He's, he's no match for us. No match, no match. You sound... You sound like I have some kind of control over this situation. Well, you could have. Do you mind if I do some digging? Yeah, dig away. It says kitchen! It says kitchen and it's full of... What is this? It's for your eyelashes. Look, don't worry, I, I really don't want a coffee anyway. Um, I just wanted to see how you're doing. Yeah, maybe it'd be better if we left it for a bit. She talks in her sleep. Angel? Well, it's probably the excitement of the big move and sharing a room with a favourite cousin. I'm too old to share and this place is too small. No, it's not. The old house was too big. Here, we can um, really get to know each other. You're actually going to unpack. Yeah, maybe. I think I'll be spending a lot more time at Dad's then. <sighs> Don't worry, she'll come round. It's not her I'm worried about. What? Nicola? Don't say anything, will you? I mean, don't tell her. Let me find a way of making it sound good. Hi. Uh, quiet morning? Yeah, just popping into town. I need to get some milk. I like to offer my clients a complimentary cup of my honey bush. Uh, I'm sorry? It's organic tea. It's very high in antioxidants. Oh, right. Listen, I feel I owe you an explanation. No need. Well, I'd be happier nevertheless. Denise, it's really important to me that you believe me. There is nothing, nothing whatsoever in these accusations, huh? I know that. The, the, the lads obviously decided that I'm an easy target. He, uh, he admitted that he'd read about me in the paper, my sponsorship, so it's got to be about the money. But it happens all the time. No, no, I don't think it does happen all the time, but it's happening to me right now. I'm, I'm sorry. You're stressed. Yes, 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 I'm stressed. Because this isn't fair. Look, I'll... Uh, I'll leave you to get your... Uh... Oh, uh, there was something... a favour? Uh, I'm, I'm under a lot of pressure right now, and I... It would really simplify things if you could perhaps say that you'd been there with me in the house. When? When this, the, the thing, the, the assault was supposed to have happened. But I wasn't. No. No. I'm, I'm sorry, this is too much of an ask. Well, it's more than an ask. It's lying to the police. Please, forget I even said anything. Um, maybe, uh, 
And if... Uh, see you later at lunchtime? I've uh, got to get a present for Didi. It's her birthday soon. OK. Another time, then. Look, oh, there you go. You can ask her yourself. Uh, Brenda was wondering about an update. Well, it's just a few days till the hearing. Well, I don't know whether to get more permanent help for the kids or, or with this place. You've been really patient. You said you had a lead. I do. Yeah, I'm definitely getting closer. Well, you said that last time. Oh, try not to worry. I'll hopefully have something for you by tonight, OK? Is that mine? Yeah. Progress? No. But... Oh, well, Ashley, I lied. I don't have anything. You're making a habit of that. Oh, don't start judging me. Carly is like Shergar. She's vanished off the face of the earth. This is really not good for Bob or Brenda. Well, thanks for reminding me. You don't think it's time, maybe, to take the whole Jed thing to the authorities? No. You're just going to dismiss the notion out of hand? Yes. The SIM card. They don't have any proof. Do you think they'll take the word of a prisoner over hers? From someone who just gave me the vicar face for lying. Anyway, look at her. It wouldn't take a trained interviewer long to get a confession. And then what would happen to the twins? Once she's been done for smuggling contraband into the prison, she could get six months for that. And Bob could get his sentence lengthened. Oh. Where are you going? To find Carly. Well, his phone's off. You might as well go. Do you mind if we give it another ten minutes? Wait as long as you want. You're only wasting your time. I mean, Lawrence isn't the violent type. You... The whole thing's ridiculous. I thought we were done. I've told you everything I know. Yeah, we've got lots to go on. The trouble is, it's a bit contradictory. I'd imagine it is, seeing as you're being lied to. I'm talking about some of your own statement. You contradict yourself. I don't think so. How about we head down to the station, go over the details? No, let's do it here. Let's not. All right, but I want a solicitor with me. I want it. I'll be damned if I'm going to be stitched up. Got to stay trim in my line of work. So, go on. What would 200 quid get me? No! I don't want to hire you. I, I'm just wondering what you have to do for it. Oh, uh, be a gentleman. Laugh at the jokes, open doors. Make them feel special for a couple of hours. A couple of hours? Mm -hmm. A hundred quid an hour? Uh-huh. Who can afford that? They save up. Treat themselves. To you. Uh, yeah. Uh, is that so unbelievable? Well, I don't know. I mean, no. It's just, well, if you can get 200 quid, what might someone else get? Like who? Well, I'm a few years younger. I try to keep myself in shape. <coughs> what shape? <clears throat> and might I remind you, you are talking to your father in law. Anyway, for what it's worth, it's not... It's not just about age. What isn't? Nothing. Rodney is bragging about his career as a gigolo. Oh, I thought Hunter had retired. Mm, yeah, well, I, I was just explaining to Jimmy, it's not for everyone. I mean, Jimmy's appeal might be a little... Well, niche. <laughs> Jimmy? <laughs> Jimmy a gigolo? <laughs> 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 Why is that so funny? I just haven't had much to laugh at lately. <laughs> so I was thinking that pint they owe you. What now? Well, yeah, why not? We'll go into town, change the scenery. Oh, come on, mate, I've got nothing else to do. Oh, I see. Is that right? No, I don't mean... I just mean my mum's pecking my head. She's got me changing barrels and fixing dripping taps. And before I know it, she'll be painting the bathroom wall if I don't get out of there, so... What are you saying? A couple of cheeky pies for me, or...? 
watching whatever that is. Go on then. I'd like to return to the glass. Oh, again with the damn glass, really. Is this going somewhere? The glass got broken in the dispute as you lunged for Mr Jensen? No, as I tried to bat him away. What does trying to bat somebody look like? I'd have thought that was obvious. Hard enough to remove the skin from your knuckles? I cut myself when I was clearing it away afterwards. They're almost as battered as Mr Jensen's face. All my bedroom slippers, for that matter, doesn't mean I hit anyone with them. But we are agreed that he had a drink with you in your front room. I felt sorry for him, so I found him some work. And then he said he wanted some advice, so I gave him a drink while we talked. Do you often find work for passing trade? Oh, do I have to listen to this? Keep it polite. Remember, Mr White is here of his own free will. Of course. I am a widower with two daughters. I had no interest in that man, apart from doing him a favour. You can't blame me for wondering, given your record. That was a long time ago. And I was very young. I'm not that man anymore. Out here. Oh, yeah, I just need a bit of fresh air. Hey, Brenda, it's Bob's sentencing soon, isn't it? A few days. Oh, it must be awful, prison. I can't imagine it. Lucky for Bob, he's not effeminate. Although he does have lovely eyes. Well, Lawrence went to prison, didn't he? You'd have to ask him about that. Oh, imagine being sent to prison for being gay. Is there a point to this? Well, I was just wondering, that's all, and you've known Lawrence a long time. I... So you thought you would gossip with passers-by instead? Oh, I'm sorry, Bernice, but if you want to know about it, you must ask him yourself. But I wasn't prying. I'm very fond of Lawrence, as it happens. So? They're fishing. They've got nothing and they know it. Well, they've told me to stick around. Asked, not told. It's just your word against his, so stop worrying. Call me if you hear anything wrong. Well, thank you for getting here so fast. Well, she sounds confident. I pay her to sound confident. What are you doing here? I was worried. Really? Yeah, of course. And well, I've been doing some thinking. You're certain you've never seen this bloke before? Of course not. And there were no clues? Nothing he said, where he might be from, where he might work? I mean, no one likes a scandal. Oh, bad for business, is it? All of this, ever since we moved to that damn village. Lachlan, Chrissy, now this, it's all been bad for business. But, hey, thank you for your concern. Never mind that I'm being humiliated for something I haven't done. You've got to jump on this, Lawrence. Did I ask you for your help? I've done some homework. It turns out his name's Connor Jensen. He's not just an odd job man, he does a bit of bar work in town. I say we find him before he comes looking for us. Take the initiative. Business. What? Uh, but he, he, he's promised to look after April, are you sure? He must have forgotten. Oh, right. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I've got a couple of interviews and a meeting later. Listen, uh, do you want to leave with me? Why aren't you working? I shall have to be my assistant private detective for the afternoon. <laughs> do I get the young gun? <laughs> don't worry, nothing too dangerous. Oh. 
Oh, thank no. you. Thank you so much. I'll see you later then. OK, bye. Come on, then. Can we have ice cream? Now we'll have to see how hard you work. <laughs> Not Johnson. Jensen. Connor Jensen, mid-twenties. We should talk to the boss, see about the other stuff. Let's stick around here for a bit. The woman from the bar with the pool table said she might have seen him here. What? Well, how many bars have we tramped around since then? You should have told me. We could have come straight here. Actually, you know what? On, on second thoughts, why don't you go have a look for the boss? The barman said he's downstairs. Oh, you sit down. I'll grab us a couple of beers. What are you doing here? What are you doing here with my brother? Just having a drink with a mate. What mate? He's not your mate. Just go home, Robert. He's not your mate. You're guilty, you can't handle it, so you're using him. It's a dangerous game you're playing, Aaron. You need to stop before someone gets hurt. She just looks younger. What's your secret? Glass the weed behind the sofa. OK, what can I get you? Um, actually, I was hoping for a quick chat. A favour. Right, I'll leave you to it. Uh, a couple of favours. One each. It's about Bob's hearing. Oh, please, just hear me out. Brenda is at her wit's end and I'm desperate here. A good word for him, in court, that's all. I'm not asking you to do anything dodgy, just something putting Val's statement into context. And something nice about Bob, a, a character reference. If I don't go back with something, Bob is facing God knows what, and I know none of us want that. Yeah, you're right. I don't know how much it'll help, but I'll do what I can. He was conned by that journalist, you know. Yeah. OK. But just don't tell my dad. Thanks. Open your ears. Open your ears. Open your ears. Open your ears. I'm glad I brought you. Hello, Tootsie. Bernice, I wanted to talk to you about what happened earlier. Well, you're not going to shout at me again. I didn't shout. They weren't very pleasant. I have an abhorrence of gossip, that's all. So do I. You're a decent person, Bernice. Why are you saying that? I'd hate to see you get hurt. It can be very painful becoming attached to someone who might not be able to share your feelings completely. Think very hard whether Mr. White is the gentleman for you. Why are you telling me this now? Edna? Hi, Rodney. Red cardigan. No, she's not here yet, so you're off the hook. Well, how late are you going to be? No, I will not buy a strange woman a drink. I'm not scared. I just don't want to be your warm-up act. All right, just don't dawdle, OK? Hunter has been delayed. He asked me to pass on the message. And you came all this way out here to tell me? <laughs> Who are you? I, I, I'm a colleague of Hunter's. I'm Trojan. Trojan. Usual Jimmy? Or Jimmy. Jimmy or, or Trojan. Would you like a drink? A white wine would be lovely. Uh, white wine, please, and a uh, martini for me. Martini? You heard. I don't get it. Why is he still here? Drinking on his own, it's weird. 
Can't they just leave it? Uh, two more beers, please. Gavin, one. You know he's just using you to deal with this guilt, right? Yeah, well, I can see why you think that, Robert. But the thing is, not everyone's like you, luckily. Oh, uh, look who I've just uh, bumped into. Good to see you, Andy. What's this, then? It works out here? What? Oh, I see, uh, well, something like that. We need to talk business. Yeah, of course you do. Nothing. What? The owner swears he's never even heard of him, says he'll speak to the staff, but I don't know. What about you? How'd you get on? Robert? Uh, oh, a uh, couple said they'd seen him in late afternoons, actually. All oh, right, well, then let's wait. What? That's him. That's him! Are you sure? That's a face I'm not likely to forget. Come on! Robert! You touched me again, and I'm calling the police. We're not here to hurt you. What do you want? What do I want? I want to know why. Why would you do this? All I did was try to help you. Money. It's got to be about money. If it is, you can forget it. <laughs> well, you're in a little bit of trouble then, aren't you? Come on. Can I have a large GNT, please, Mum? You look like you've seen a ghost. Mm, scarier than that. I've just had a visit from Edna. What did she want? Yeah. I'm not entirely sure myself. I like your screensaver. Oh, it's a, a TV programme. You don't have to tell me. Ice Road Truckers is my absolute favourite. You are having me on. I am not. Lisa Kelly, she's my hero. <laughs> Do you know what? I used to have a poster of Lisa on my wall. <laughs> Nico made me take it down. Who's Nico? Cleaner. She's very bossy. It's not often you meet a woman who's into the ice road. Oh, come on. You must meet all sorts in your line of work. Would you like another drink? I'll go on. Hunter's loss is my game. I'd like that. I'd like that a lot. <laughs> Who's your little friend, Jimmy? Sorry? Oh, um, she's a client. We're trying to put a deal together. Glass of white wine, please, and, um... Martini, Mr Bond. You're going to follow me all the way to the police station? I just want to talk. Whoa. I'm sorry, sir. Have you no conscience? This man's tried to help you. OK. But would you mind not harassing me, because you're just getting yourself into more trouble? No one means to harass you. Now, let's just get this over with. How much is it going to take to make this go away? Robert. Now, go on, how much? All right. Five grand. Five? I haven't agreed to this. Here, here's my card. You've got an hour, all right? If I don't hear from you by seven o'clock, then don't bother. Come on. Connor, I... Come on. Oops. That goes down quickly. Doesn't it, Just? Perhaps I ought to pace myself. Don't want to be paralytic before Hunter gets here. Well, at least you wouldn't have to listen to any of his stories. Stop being naughty about Hunter. Although I am having a good time with you. I am too. <laughs> Perhaps I ought to have a coffee. Didn't you say you just live over the road? Uh, yeah. The uh, thing is, I wasn't really expecting company. Oh, never mind. We'll have one here. <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. Let's go back to mine. What would Hunter say? I hope he'd say sorry for keeping such a charming lady waiting. Anyway, it's only coffee, right? Just a coffee. It's all I've paid for. How do you mean? You have to pay for extras, right? Well, like biscuits. <laughs> You're so funny. 
<laughs> have you seen the one of the goat dancing to Taylor Swift? I reckon I have. I reckon you've shown me every single goat video on the internet. Not the one of the goat dancing to Taylor Swift, I haven't. Tell you what, because you've been working so hard, how about I promote you to senior investigator? Even get your own area. So let me take this and you and your assistant over here. Is something bad going to happen to Grandad Bob? See, everyone looks like when I ask that. Grandad Bob is going to be fine. Do you promise? April, I am doing everything I can, I promise. OK. You normally bring clients back. No. Uh, well, actually, I've, I've, I've just moved in, hence the mess. <laughs> I was going to say, need to fire Nico. I used to be really house proud till I started living on my own. Now it's all gone to pot. And that for a plant? Oh, I wonder why I didn't have a handle. <laughs> Not exactly American gigolo, is it? Uh, milk? Sugar? I'm, I'm not actually sure I could find the sugar. Not really supposed to drink coffee, but... Go on, black, please. So, you live alone? Uh, not married, obviously. I was, but I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. We divorced. <laughs> 30 years, no less. That's why I phoned Hunter. Thought I might need a bit of practice if I'm going to start dating again. How am I doing so far? Oh, <laughs> I think you're a champ. A champ? <laughs> you're so funny. Yeah, how's that? He's not going to call. There's still time. I wasn't going to pay him. You had no right to do that. You wanted it to go away. He had all the power, so I had to think quick. I had to take the initiative. Which you haven't done. Instead, you've added bribery and attempting to pervert the course of justice to the list of charges that I Can you just be patient? And after I've been patient, what if we don't hear from him? Well, then he was never after the money, or he was after too much. Already been to the police. Told them I assaulted him. Next, he'll be saying that I tried to bribe him. Well, go on! Yeah, OK. No, I'll deal with it. Can I call you on this number? Well, you'll get it when I know for certain you've kept your side of the bargain. You won't be hearing from him again. He's withdrawn a statement, said he was confused. <laughs> It's over. <laughs> what is that? It's Chinese. And Carly gave it to me. Yeah, I might have known. She's got loads of them. She used to sell them on the market. Did Auntie Carly tell you any other stories? What about? Working on the market with her friends. Do you want to stay for tea? Have you got ice cream? Yeah. I'll call Laurel. Yay! 30 years and he suddenly decides honesty's the best policy. Oh, an affair. Not just one. Scores. I don't know where he found the time. He must have started the week we got back from honeymoon. Oh, don't get upset. I'm not. I shouldn't really drink coffee. <laughs> and I forgot me pills. <laughs> I told you I needed practice. What, an old crock? You are not an old crock. I think you're... lovely. What are you doing? He used to buy me stuff. All the time. Expensive presents. And when he left, I started wearing them instead of leaving them in the house, in case of burglars. Don't know why I bothered. I ate them. Here. I don't want them. No, don't do that. I'm feeling lighter already. You have them. No! You deserve them. You've made me feel like a, a new woman. I haven't laughed like this in ages. <laughs> Take them as a, a down payment. For what? 
You know what I think, Trojan? I think you could laugh me into bed. Back in a sec. Rodney! Rodney, pick up! Why the heck aren't you in the pub? A bit late, you said. Two hours. How is that a bit? The blasted motorway was shut and my phone was on the blink. I got here as soon as I could. Don't tell me you just left her. She's in there. Where? You brought her back to yours? To that pit? Oh, thank you, Jimmy. Made me look completely unprofessional. You're the one that never showed up. I saved your bacon. Well, I hope you haven't eaten it as well. <laughs> She drank too much, so we were having coffee. I didn't know what to do. Then she started taking her jewellery off. What? She was like Mr T under there. Said she hated it because it reminded her of her cheating husband and she wanted me to have it. You? Why? How drunk did you get her? I think she wanted me to, uh ...perform a service. Oh, God, you can't be trusted, can you? Please, go in and talk to her. I'm scared. Pathetic. Jimmy? Jimmy, get in here! What the heck have you done to her? Nothing. Susie? Susie? Well, she can't have passed out. She didn't have that much. If she'd passed out, she'd have a pulse. No way! I can't begin to imagine what's gone on here. The woman's dead, Jimmy. Completely dead. One more. Look, I've told you not to let him get to you. I'm just tired. Aaron, you were right. Today is just what I needed. Get out of the village, the beer with a mate. Yeah, I know, and I had a laugh, mate. I did, I just... I don't know, I'm just done in. Sorry, mate. I'll we'll see you tomorrow, yeah. Oh, Denise. Will you have a drink with me? Oh, what a shame. I was, um, I was just about to go and talk to my mum about something. Really? That, that, that's, uh, that's a pity. Uh, listen, uh, the thing earlier, I wanted you to know that it's all been sorted. It's an awful misunderstanding, and I'm sorry I dragged you into it. A misunderstanding? Hmm. Well, that's a strange thing to get wrong. Ah, he was confused. Drug user, probably. Anyway, the police called to say that all the allegations have been dropped. So, listen, I was thinking on the way down here, you were talking about Dee Dee's birthday. Mm, you really should pay her a visit. Mm, that'd be lovely if she wasn't in Australia. Oh, well, <laughs> it's on the same planet. And I have friends out there. We could go together. My treat? Listen. If the past few days have taught me anything, it's that none of us know what's around the corner. Something can just come along and mess things up. <laughs> Life's for living, Burn. Please, say yes. I can't. Why not? I can't make a decision like that off the top of my head. I need to think about it. <sighs> All right, well, you have a think about it. And then say yes. I really have to go. I, I, I need to talk to my mum about something. She said something about pills. She'd forgotten her pills. And she shouldn't really be drinking coffee. You made one of your coffees. Yeah, that should have done it. Do you mind not making jokes? There's a dead woman in the room. A dead man as well, if my daughter finds out about Don't this. Don't you dare. This is your fault. My fault? Do you know how many of my clients have died on me? Shall I tell you? 
Don't be stupid. None. Zero. Out of all my clients, that is zero percent. Now let's examine your short-lived career, shall we, Jimmy? Thanks very much for coming. One client, one death. That makes uh, 100%. 100% of all your clients have died before you kiss them on the cheek or say goodbye. I can't believe you're using this tragedy to prove a point. Do you still think this is a career for you? And I think the point has proved itself. Where are you going? To get some air. Definitely begins with a J. Begins with a J in this market and she's got a special friend there. <sighs> Can you try and remember the whole name? Mm. Mm. I think tomorrow ice cream might help. Well, I hope so. Because I can't find a town beginning with a J between here and Timbuktu. I know. I've remembered. Driffield. Driffield! With a J. Yeah. You're a star. Hi! Oh, hi. Boys, where's Laurel? Well, April's here because you told Laurel you look after her today. That wasn't today. Well, she seems to think it was. Hasn't she come back yet? Well, she has, but April here is doing such a good job at helping me crack the Carly case that I've promoted her to senior assistant detective. She gets paid in ice cream. Well, that's funny, because I get paid in tea and biscuits. <laughs> Turns out Carly has a best friend in Driffield, and that's where she goes when she needs time away. Ooh. I need the wheel. She goes on the left. left. He knows where the bathroom is. So, Driffield. Yeah, there's a market there. I'm going to go tomorrow and ask around. Uh -huh. I know it's still a long shot, but at least it's something. There's a woman lying unconscious on the sofa. Isn't she, um... My, my client. client. He borrowed her. And broke her. Well, is she all right? No, she's not. She's dead. Dead? What the heck did you do to her? I didn't do anything, and I wish people would stop asking me that. She just died. <gasps> That's horrible. What are you going to do? Stick her in the freezer. What do you think? He's upset. We're just waiting for the undertaker. But I saw her. She was in the prime of her life. Well, evidently, she wasn't. One minute she was fine, talking about a nasty ex-husband and how she'd ruined 30 years of her life by being overcautious, and now she was going to throw caution to the wind. Ironic. One strong cup of black coffee and it was all over. Just goes to show, you never know what's round the corner. <gasps> what? That's the second time I've heard something like that today. I've got to go. There's someone I need to see. Aaron? What's this about? I was just going to come and find you. Never mind that. Explain, please. I need a break. <gasps> Since when? Since there's nothing to do at work because the insurance haven't paid out and I'm bored out my head. Well, that doesn't mean you need to go running off. I'm not running off anywhere. I'm just I'm going to stay with a mate for a few days in London. Is this handy? Have things kicked off again? No. I saw you. I thought you'd sorted things out. Mum, we're fine, all right? No, sorry, not all right. Aaron, something's happened. You know what's happened? And sticking around here, it's just like I can't get away from here. Everywhere I look, the mistakes are made, they're everywhere. I'm coming back. You'd better. See ya. I was uh, just sitting here thinking I wouldn't blame if you started avoiding me. That's two awkward questions I've asked you today. Oh, don't worry. I could teach you a thing or two about awkward questions, believe me. <laughs> a drink? No. A question about the trip. But, um, please. Say we did go away, together. What would that make us? Suntan? That's not what I meant. 
No, no, I know that's not what you meant. And I, I don't know what to say. I, I suppose we'd find out. I really want to go. <laughs> <laughs> but I need to talk to Ashley about Gabby. Well, I was um, kind of relying on that. Tomorrow? Well, seize the day. Well, you're already packed. Yeah, in boxes. Well, so go and pack now. I think I'll just wait for them to remove the dead body. Yeah, where are you? Yeah, of course I'm by myself. I don't know. Pub, I reckon. Yeah, hang on a sec. Love this place. Yeah, well, it's the people that make it home. You know what I don't get? How someone as stupid as your father-in-law makes this much money? Suppose you're just happy. You've fallen on your feet. Yeah. That's it. That's all there. What more do you want? A bunch of flowers? Don't know. Bit of gratitude. You were late. I couldn't find the bar. Well, I had to mess around in there for ages. If you'd been any later, I'd have gone. Oh. Look. Everyone's asking me how I've done it. It's embarrassing. What, five grand's worth of embarrassing? <laughs> I would have held out for more if I'd have known what an idiot he is. Don't kid yourself. You only get one chance with me. Except you've said that before. We're done. Go on. Get lost. She was really lovely. I'm sure. No, she was really lovely. All she wanted was a night out and a chat. That's not what you said outside. Well, she was lonely and she'd been treated badly. The world is full of sad and lonely women, Jimmy. That's how we make them. I tell you what, her husband may have been a sleazeball, but he was a sleazeball with very good taste. These are flawless. Do we have to do this? Well, you can't just leave them lying around. She's only just been carried out. I can still smell her perfume. It's like two vultures picking over a carcass. Well, you've got to decide what you want to do with them. <sighs> They're worth a lot of money. Hand them over, obviously. To the sleazeball? Now, it could be argued, technically, that you did enter into some kind of a contract with her, a contract that involved these as a payment. No, Rodney. And anyway, I didn't deliver on the contract. Well, she was dead, Jimmy. I should hope not. Now, let me ask you this. Did she want you to have them? She kind of said so, exactly. yes. Exactly. And did she die shortly afterwards? Mm -hmm. You see where I'm going with this? I mean... You don't want to be the man who denies this sad, lonely, lovely lady her dying wish. Well, when you put it like that... Well, that's how it is. You owe it to her, Jimmy. You owe it to her to see that her wishes are... respected. Hmm. I will still be contactable. Yes, the colonies aren't what they were. I believe Australia has Wi-Fi mobile phone coverage. <laughs> In the meantime, Robert has proved himself unexpectedly capable. Too capable to let go, in fact. Yes, I know what I said, but I've changed my mind. And until I say otherwise, he's sticking around. So, if you want to call me, you'd better do it in the middle of the night. Bye. I was, uh, thinking heading back to the hotel now. Oh, uh, there's a list. I've emailed it to you. Things I haven't got around to. 
Oh, no, relax. You deserve it. Wait, wait, listen. Um, this hotel thing, it's madness. Look, stay here. Please. A at least until Chrissy gets back. Are you sure? I wouldn't say it if I weren't. <sighs> Thanks. I suppose I better get packed. <laughs> Brand new X Factor returns this weekend as the auditions continue. That's Saturday at quarter past eight. Followed by Mr. Mischief himself, Keith Lemons here with Through the Keyhole at 9.30. Stay with us tonight as there's tough times for Fizz and Ty. In Coronation Street, next.